At no other time in the history of art were there so many currents and cross-currents, so many varieties and contradictions as in the period called Baroque, a time of roughly 150 years from about 1590 up until about 1740. It emerged from mannerism, the preceding art period, and dissipated in the Rococo. Baroque painting embraced all kinds of subjects, mythology, history, religion, still life, landscapes and portraits. It was marked by contrast between tumultuous battle scenes and quiet landscapes. The Baroque, as a period of history, embraced three fairly distinct artistic trends, which mix and mingle with confusing frequency. Classicism, the High Baroque, and Naturalism. If I were forced to describe High Baroque art in one word, I'd say either exciting or dramatic, though it's oftentimes both and sometimes neither. The drama is heightened by the lavish use of color and texture, life-sized or even larger figures, complex space, monumental scope, and theatrical contrasts of light and dark. All these devices are employed to bring the action close to us, to remove the aesthetic distance. High Baroque art, in effect, puts us in the stage, makes us partakers of the action, and identify personally with the characters. European artists, for convenience sake, are grouped into schools, not educational institutions, but groupings of artists whose works share a degree of similarity in style due to their residence in a particular place. One of the most important centers of painting was Bologna. This picture of Jacob holding the bloody coat of his son Joseph, believing that Joseph is dead, is a very beautiful and emotional work. Guercino, whose correct name was Giovanni Francesco Barbieri, was born in 1591 and died in 1666. He was one of the strongest figures in the Italian art of the century and as a master of the personal appeal created by the face. Also representing the school of Bologna is this head of St. Sebastian by Guido Reni. Sebastian is one of those characters who may never have existed, but nonetheless was canonized by the Catholic Church. He was supposedly a Roman officer who became a Christian and whose martyrdom was attempted by tying him to a post and using him as a target. Sebastian, or Sebastiano in Italian, was a popular subject in Baroque art, sometimes pictured with Irene, who pulled out the arrows and nursed him back to health. Also by Rini is a series of portraits of the four gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It is said that an art dealer commissioned these paintings because he had a client who wanted to purchase the series. He kept pushing Rini to finish the group, and Rainey, who was occupied with a number of projects at the time, could not give him the attention he wanted. Rainey was greatly relieved when he was finally able to deliver the pictures and be rid of his pesky customer. Guido's work is considerably more classical in style than later Baroque masters, restrained both in technique and emotion, but he displays a beautiful talent that earned him the nickname of the Divine Guido. You see it especially well in the smoothly blended flesh tones, ranging from cool grays to warm pinks.